friends in this video we are going to see an important characteristic of light its wave nature using its diffraction now what is diffraction you can see that i have a laser here okay which i can point on the wall the concept of diffraction is that as you can see i have a blade in my hand okay when i fall the light on the edge of the blade light bends the camera does not get you know, because of the exposure going to switch off the lights and you are going to see a really wide spread from this point up to this point it's almost going to be at least one meter spread because of the bending and that bending that concept is called diffraction and it happens only because light is a wave that's going to be our today's video I have placed some scented candle here due to which you, you are able to see the path of the light right because so I'm going to place the blade such that it just touches the light ray all right and now see what happens I think you are able to see the shadow of the blade forming on the wall that is so much amazing you can see that how much big the shadow is and you can also see the spread now let me put this blade on the right side of the laser and see how the pattern is and here you go you can see that the blade is coming from the right side and we can still we are still able to see the pattern right let me switch off the lights so you can actually see that how much it has spread really okay and you can see that it is uh, up to quite a good range right now in order to give you the idea that how much does this spread really is I have a torch in my hand that you can see that I am holding against the wall and I am moving my hand till the point you see the spread of the light right I'm still here and you can see that the light is there okay so it is I can roughly say that this spread is almost maybe equal to 70 to 80 centimeters. Okay. Remember that this spread that you see on the wall is only due to one blade. Okay. And the most amazing pattern that you are going to see is when we when we'll be using two blades okay then the light will fall on the two edges of the two blades and because of that the bending that would happen due to that two edges you know that light the bended light will interfere with each other and you will see a really beautiful pattern and that and that is what the diffraction interference is at some part light will cancel the other light and at some part it will enhance so at some part you will see dark fringes and at some part you will see bright fringes that's our next part so these are the two shaving blades that I will be using to create interference pattern of light I'm going to incident the laser light on this slit that you can see that is created by the two blades light will fall on the two edges one on this and one on this due to which it will bend and you will see a really beautiful interference pattern let's see that you can clearly see that the light that is interfering as you can see my hand here this portion okay this portion is where the maximum intensity of the light is this is the point at which the ray of light should have come in straight path but because of the diffraction it is getting bended up to these many points you can see it on my hand okay this is the diffraction pattern that you see the middle portion is a little bit bigger than the other portion i hope that now you are able to see the central bright fringe it is exactly falling on the lens of the camera it is the widest of the all and on both the sides okay let me make it clear for you this is the 
the point where I am placing my finger, this is the point at which the central bright fringe is. Okay, this portion here towards the right, you can see a dark fringe, right? That dark fringe is where light is structurally interfering with the other light. This part over here, again, destructive interference. If I am able to place this camera above the pattern you can see that there are number of fringes okay there are number of fringes that are formed due to the diffraction this is an interference pattern due to diffraction this experiment proved that light has wave nature camera right now is exactly in front of the central bright fringe Now I am going to move the camera towards right and we are going to see the fringes. This is the first dark fringe, this is the bright fringe, this is the second dark fringe. So you can see that there the consecutive dark and bright fringes are formed in 3D. This is the first time we are seeing the pattern in 3D. Let me move the camera to the other side and you can see the pattern. Remember that all of these light originates from one singular light source that is our laser light i hope right now you are able to count how many bright and dark fringes are there i hope that you liked today's video please subscribe to my channel for more such interesting physics based learning thank you very much